Good morning, lovely people. Well, it's a work day. Just about to start work. Well, I've got about 10 minutes. So I'm going to eat my breakfast. So today I have got uh, mixed berries, a kefir yogurt instead of the kefir drink this time. And I've got some fruit bread and, of course, my flask of coffee. So... Yeah, so I wondered whether today, because I said yesterday that um, I was struggling to increase my calories. So today I really worked on it. <laughs> I definitely increased my calories today. But what I thought might be useful is to go through how this would differ to a deficit day. So where I've actually put those calories without just throwing in random junk, if you know what I'm saying. So this morning... I would say this is probably what I would normally have anyway. So there's nothing different in this to would be in my normal sort of work type breakfast. I still I'd have probably have fruit and a fruit bread and a yogurt. Um I'll have my coffee anyway, or you know, I'd have things like wheat or whatever. But even on a deficit day, I would have this with, without a shadow of a doubt. Um I put the calories up on screen because I put this on, put this all into the app last night and I can't remember now because I've already worked up my calories for today. So, yes, so this is normal. So in terms of maintenance versus deficit, so far, this is a normal day. This is same, deficit, maintenance, whatever. This is exactly the same. So as we go through the day... I'll go through where I would probably make tweaks to turn this into a deficit meal rather than a maintenance meal, if that makes sense. Anyway, so I go on with breakfast before work starts and um, I will see you at lunchtime. Bye guys. Right guys, it is now lunchtime and I took those sausages and some lettuce and the hummus that I made and a bit of mayonnaise and I've used a cheese slice, normally I would use normal cheese, but I want to get rid of them. Um, that, I have made the biggest wrap. <laughs> so nice. And I've got a pear and a clementine as well. So, this all together, including the clementine and the pear, is about 500 calories. Probably a little bit more than I would normally have on a lunch time. Or I would probably have this much on a lunchtime if I knew I was going to have a lighter evening meal. But today I'm doing neither. It's not a light lunch and it's not a light evening meal. So I'm bang up. Well, I think I've got 73 calories left by the end of the day. So, yeah. So if I was in a deficit, I may have had the wrap. Um, but I may not have had the fruit because I had fruit for breakfast. And then dinner tonight would have been a little bit lighter. Or, when I show you what I'm having for dinner later, if I was planning for a deficit, I would have had that. And then lunchtime, I might have had minestrone soup or some tortelli or some um, parsnip soup. Or I might have even had a sandwich. So, that's the kind of difference. So, I would have ordinarily had this probably anyway on a lunch. So, breakfast and lunch would probably be pretty much the same. Really. Pretty, pretty much the same. It's just the evening meal, perhaps it would be different. That's probably a better way of putting it. Breakfast the same, lunch the same. And when we get to food tonight, I suppose that's where the difference really is in the deficit to maintenance. Anyway, I'm going to have my lunch. Sounds like it's chaos out there. I'm going to have my lunch and I will uh, see you later. Hi guys, I am back from work. And... Um, Okay, two things. The fruit that I showed you at lunchtime, I didn't end up eating at lunchtime, and I thought, oh, I'm not going to bother. And then I and I got to looking at my fibre, and I thought, actually, if I eat that fruit, which was a bit late in the afternoon, if I eat that, I will let my fibre go. Well, big mistake, because now I've eaten it, I am absolutely starving. So, so annoying. I know that happens with apples, but I had to pay in a clementine, and um, <clears throat> now it is 25 to 5 and I could quite literally gnaw my arm off, which is normally not me at all whatsoever. So I've got myself a coffee. I've just made it. So I'm hoping that's going to suppress things for a little while. 
Anyway, for food tonight, I am having, um, do you know the pre-packed lamb shanks you can get in um, red wine gravy? Well, I picked up a pack from Tesco's. Again, big mistake because I've had a duff pack out of them before and I've now got another duff pack. So if ever in any of my future videos I mention having fruit as a snack in between food and how hungry it makes me or that I bought these lamb shanks from Tesco's again and they're rubbish, I have given you full permission to give me as much stick in the comments as you like because otherwise I don't think I'm going to learn. So let me have a show you. Even to the point where those, oh, those sausages that I had at lunchtime in the wrap were delicious. So what I've done is I've actually stuck two into the casserole dish to cook along with the lamb shanks because, well, let, let me show you, let me show you. That lamb shank, that lamb shank, perfectly normal. That lamb shank is quite literally all bone. There is the tiniest amount of lamb on there. So my husband's a bigger lamb fan than I am, so he can have the normal one. I love that one. And I'll just have some of those sausages as well instead. Because um, that is shocking. Shocking. Oh, with it as well, we are having um, potato gratin and I can do some mixed veg with it as well. So that is food for this evening. Um, I put everything into my app and yeah, I think I've got about 70 calories left, I think. Um, yeah, what else have I got to tell you? What else, what else? Oh, I have switched over to NutriCheck. Um, after being out with the ladies on Sunday and getting quite frustrated because I've always been a MyFitnessPal um, advocate because it's free for one and I don't particularly like having to pay for stuff unless I've really, really got to. Um, but because it's a more global thing and I think more geared towards the US, I, I was finding that either I couldn't find things on there or things wouldn't scan, so they weren't there, even though you can input it yourself, or they would be on there, but all the nutritional information wasn't in there. So when I'm trying to track things like my fiber and stuff like that, it didn't have all the information in there. I was getting a bit fed up with it, to the point where we all went out for food on Sunday, as we would have seen, and um, that, literally, there was a couple of dishes in, in um, my fitness pile from Bill's, and, and nothing else. So anything that I ate, Luckily, every single other one of the ladies around the table all have NutriCheck. So I kind of like, I said to them, right, okay, so tell me, tell me about NutriCheck, tell me what it's like. And they were like, oh my God, it's amazing. you got to get it, you got to get it. And they were like, oh, well, we had my fitness pal before and he was, you know, but we really love NutriCheck. So I thought, right, okay, I'm, I'm going to give it a go. And actually, I have been quite lucky in the sense that NutriCheck have allowed me to try out the app for free. So I'm gonna kind of like, kind of like declare that, that they kind of are giving it to me to try out. So, um, so yeah, but so far, and I've only really used it today, so far, so good. Everything that I was looking for was in there. You know, it's taken a little bit of getting used to, um, to the point where I had to message the girls and I said to Kaz I said oh how do I change my calories and she said all right so she sent me screenshots to do this this and this so thanks Kat I really I really appreciate that um so yeah so it's, it's taking a bit of getting used to so I will let you know how I get on with it and I probably will do a comparison at some point but I thought I kind of like would let you know that um yeah I mean they don't they don't pay me or sponsor me or anything like that they just given me a free trial to give it a go, basically. Um, because I was thinking about changing over anyway, so so thanks to them for giving me a free trial. Um, yeah, so I'll give it a go and see what happens. Yeah, and I know most of you are already on NutriCheck, I, you know, because you tell me in the comments. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna give it a go. Anyway, I'm gonna put food in. Have I got anything else? Oh, I'm gonna edit the video now. So actually, while food is in and it's on cooking, I will go and edit. Otherwise, you won't have a video for tomorrow. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to check this in and I will see you a bit later. I am back briefly because I just started editing the video that I, or the, the footage that I did for my three flavoured hummus. 
and I don't know what's happened. Right, so it's not gonna happen. <laughs> that hummus video for tomorrow is not gonna happen because I don't know what's happened, but it can't be pieced together. I just, I don't know what happened, whether bits of it stopped recording or I, I have a problem with my camera ever since I dropped it. But I don't know if I can blame that. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's, anyway, it's not complete. So what I'm going to do is you should have seen this one probably the next day, but you're obviously seeing this on Wednesday. So there's not going to be no recipe video tonight. But that's okay, because I'm still here doing this. So yeah, anyway, and I carry on food. I'll see you later. Right, so. That is the end of what I eat in a day for today. Um, just a bit of feedback on the non-lamb shank. Um, yeah, it was as little meat on there as I thought there was going to be. And um, the bit that was on there wasn't particularly great either. So, never buy in Tesco's lamb shanks again, ever again. And if I do, tell me I'm stupid. You have my permission. Um, yeah, so the only thing I've got left to have tonight is my sleepy tea, and that is it. So, yeah, so that's it for today, guys. If you've enjoyed this very rambly video, uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new around you, consider subscribing. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Night, guys.